We are at the final part where you're going to play with different brushes from Procreate. So we're going to start with the element category. Think of elements like weather. Um, there's a lot of fun ones in here. So choose one that you think you want to play with. And then once you have your brush, choose a color. It can be a color that matches your scheme already or maybe something that's completely contrasting. It's totally up to you. I did go with a green and in the end, I ended up moving that layer behind the leaf to make it kind of bright. Number two is vintage. So go to the vintage category. Choose a brush that you want to play with. Once you have your brush, again, go back to the wheel or a palette and choose a color. I went with a flower one. I feel like I'm out in the jungle. There's a little bit of a theme happening. Number three is abstract. Same idea, pick a brush, um, pick a color. I spent way too much time on this one. I couldn't make a decision at all. <laughs> Number four, touch-ups. For this one, um, what did I choose? Oh, one that looks like hair. I love the, it's actually a really nice drawing tool. It's very wispy. Um, I ended up just using it to play with the ruin and adding a little more gray to the inside of that object. And the final one is industrial. So I kind of mixed two things here. I use the industrial to make a frame for my photo. Um, coloring it in, erasing, coloring it in, erasing, um, until I got kind of a grunge effect um, that I was happy with. So maybe you can make um, a frame out of any tool that you want, and of course the color is up to you as well. You can make it as clean and sharp or messy and smudgy as you wish. It's absolutely free choice. Once you have all of your five elements used, you are technically done with everything that's needed for this digital portrait, but you can absolutely add more. You can go back into all the other brushes we haven't even looked at yet and start playing with um, whatever you wish. You can keep drawing, keep coloring. It's absolutely up to you. So uh, I can't wait to see what you do. Have fun.